Hello and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's How To, we're gonna show you how to properly lubricate an SAF style bearing during initial installation. And helping me out is Corey Didoff. He is with NTN. Corey, how you doing, man? Pretty good, Tom, how are you? It's good, buddy, it's good. Uh, what do we got going on here well, today? Did you know that with bearings, there's two major, major causes of failure when we install a new one? Lubrication and contamination. Too much grease or too little grease will lead to bearing failure every time. Grease is the word. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. All right, before we get started, PPE. You know that's how we uh, do that's things how we here. Roll. Remember, whatever the job calls for, wherever you are, safety is always priority. Safety is already priority. One. All right, go ahead, Corey. Well, what we have here, Tom, is a spherical roller bearing. Mm -hmm. It's already been hand packed with grease. Okay. We have mounted it on the shaft, right. tightened everything up, verified the mounted clearance with feeler gauges, and we're ready to go ahead and drop this in. All right, why don't you go ahead and do that? Is there anything I can do? Yeah, you can. Here, take these take these stabilizing rings. After okay. I drop this in, into the housing, you'll wanna go and put one on either side. Just go ahead, drop this on in here, like that, and the stabilizing rings go equally on either side. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna go this one first, and then go there. All right, I think we're good to go. Now next, we want to put grease on into the bottom half of the housing. How much, how much grease do you think we need to put in there? Uh, oh, looking at an ounce or two, I would say. Well, if we put too little grease in there, right. we won't have enough lubrication, the bearing will fail faster than you can say expensive downtime. I don't want that to happen, no. so 10, 11, 12 ounces? On the flip side, if we put too much grease, we're gonna get a lot of excessive heat generation, burn out our, burn out our grease, and get right back to expensive downtime again. Where's the manual? I know it'll say how much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what you want to do right. is no matter what SAF style housing you have, uh -huh. you want to look in the assembly instructions and right. put in the recommended amount of grease. Okay. For our SAF 515 housing here, that's between seven and eight ounces. Oh, uh, that's not much. Or okay. if with the grease gun we'll use here yeah. at 28 pumps per ounce. Uh, it's, uh, seven uh, carried. That's like 200 pumps. 100 aside, 50 per corner. It's not um. that much. And, and I'm doing this? You're doing this. They Can wanted me to make you earn your paycheck this time. <clears throat> Can you go get me a sandwich? Sure. Go. I'll, all right, 200, count it with me, here we go. No, no, he's still pumping. He's still pumping. <sighs> Here, let me hold that for you. I can do some work. <sighs> Good job. Thanks. 200. Whew. Okay. What's next? What's next, Tom, is where we take the top cap and drop it onto the top of the housing. So if okay. you could go ahead and do that, Tom. All right. And just sets, settles it sets right it in there. Sets it in there, it gets lined up with the, oh, there you go. Okay, and then what and, we do, we tighten this up? Yeah, I'll take the back one, you can do the, okay. and we just tighten down the, the bolts to the recommended torque setting, okay. and you're all done. Once we do that, we'll do our torque, we're here, a click, and then we're good to go. And then we're good to go. Awesome, thank you. Corey, thank you so much. Thank I you, appreciate Tom. appreciate it. And uh, that was Corey Didoff. He is with NTN. And uh, that's how you grease an SAF style bearing during initial installation. Hey, if you have any questions, just contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location, and uh, they'll be able to help you out. And you know what else could help you out is going to our website, mihowto.com, to watch other videos. I'm your host, Tom Clark. Thanks for watching this video today.